Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Insight. I'm your host, Stephen. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. We finally have some summer weather here in the Midwest. After having like a month and a half of fall, early spring, late winter, for like majority of this month, we I think we finally hit summer, y'all. I think we finally then found summer here in the Midwest. It rained. It was cold. Being the 50s, all that extra stuff. Be some straight, flat out BS. But, you know, me, I'm cool with it, you know, dealing with this weird weather and all that lovely stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, me, go ahead and send some invites here, there, and there, and here, here, and there, there, and hither. Simone, Deandra, Heather, Jan, how you all doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, like I was saying, we finally got some summer weather out here in the Midwest. It only took all of the month of June damn near. near. Um, uh, okay, um, y'all got to forgive me. I'm a little bit stiff and sore at the same time. <laughs> so I'm working through that right now. So you may see me stretch a little bit more than normal so yeah um i don't really have much to talk about for the exception of those of you who have heard about the trip who put in for the trip and all that extra stuff payments are due soon so i'm just bringing that up you already know who you are you already know what trip i'm talking about leave it as such do it as such and everything of that nature uh do 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 you know uh, I'm trying to remember people who like to watch the show and things of that nature. So, trying to invite them. It makes it a little bit easier, but at the same time, it's difficult because you got to type in people's names when on the actual list itself. So, it's like, eh, iffy. Time to think of who. No, I don't know nobody else, but you know, I'm done. I'm done. It, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a public, it's a public, it's a public video. So anybody can watch it. So welcome. If you're new to the show, welcome aboard. So I got this topic here that was brought to me by one of the viewers here and hey, Phil. So and I thought it was real interesting because it's one of those types of scenarios on like which side would you pick like who's wrong in this per in this specific scenario so i thought it'd be good basically for this show so let's go ahead and let's get into it right so i'm gonna read i'm gonna read off the entire thing okay now this right here is coming from this is just I don't know if this is like specifically from somebody. I'm pretty sure someone has been through this, but I'm just reading it as it is, okay? Word for word. So I met this guy on Tinder. We spoke for a few months and he said he would be in my city for a couple of days on business. We agreed to meet at Benihana. I told him to meet me there and I would take him back to his hotel. When we met up, the day went well. We talked about any and everything. He let me know he was relocating in a month, so you know I was excited. He had all the qualities of a good man, that is, until the bill came. The total was $96. He took out a crisp $100 bill and put it on the table. He then asked me, could I leave the tip? Shaking my head, red flags started to go off in my head. The man is supposed to pay for everything, including the tip. So I said, sure, and took another bite of my food, then told him, let me get my wallet from my car. I hopped in my car and left. If you can't even pay for dinner without helping, without my help, you're a bomb, period. So, would you stop, man? Dang, Anthony gone somewhere. Didn't even see all of that. So, I just read this whole scenario, word for word. These two met over the internet, met over Tinder. They went to dinner. The bill was $96. 
he paid a hundred bucks. He pulled out a hundred bucks and paid for the entire meal. He asked her if she could leave the tip. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. They not, it's not just about this. He's tripping about the tip. But the main point is she's trying to say if he can't pay for everything, it's a no-go. So my thing is this, Ace One. My thing is this. If you paid for the entire meal and you just asked the person that you're on a date with, this is the first date, to pay for the tip, is that a deal breaker? Like, is he wrong for asking her to pay for the tip? Or is she wrong for saying, yeah, but up and just leaving? After the bill, mind you, was $96. $96 for dinner for two people that he paid himself. So I'm just wondering, like, 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 <laughs> like, like, who's wrong in this in this scenario? Uh, DeAndre says she Patty. All she had to do was say she didn't have it or tell him up or tell him up front. <laughs> True. And Jan would Lord is it Lord no? Uh, Simone says it's a first date. It's not that deep. Yeah. DeAndre says she could have left a twenty dollar tip. Like, what's up, cuz? Uh, yeah, cuz I mean, like, so so far, everybody's saying that she's wrong. She's wrong for basically saying it's a deal breaker. This man just paid on the first date a hundred dollars, a hundred bucks on the first date, and she tripping at the fact that he asked her to just pay for the tip. She lied and said sure and dipped out. At least, at least the bill was paid. Can say that much. At least the bill was paid. Okay, the whole thing was, um, I read the whole scenario earlier, cuz, but here's the thing. It was two people they met online. He came to her city for business, so they went out to go eat. He paid for the bill. The bill was $96. He paid 100 bucks. He asked her if she could, uh, if she can, you know, pay the tip. She got in her car and left. She's basically saying that a man should pay for everything including the tip a man who can't pay for the tip can't do much of anything what's up angelique that's basically what we're going on and we're trying to see who's wrong is he wrong for asking her to pay for the tip or is she wrong or is she wrong what's up max for um just up and bolting just up and bolting and just saying like yeah this ain't what it do uh deandre says she was childish for leaving shake my head She's the bum. True. Yeah. You don't just, how you just going up and leave? I mean, like, true enough, the dinner's already paid for. So it's not like no, no, ain't no dining dash. Ain't no excitement behind that. Um, Simone said, sorry, but she's wrong. Just pay the damn tip and keep it pushing. He paid, he paid for the food. He paid, he paid the food. She paying for the waitress service. Basically, uh, replying to Jan. Oh, shoot. I didn't even read Jan's. <laughs> Jan said, them be the bitches that get wifed, wifed up, though. Yeah, I guess. True, I guess you got to start fussing about leaving the <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, my cousin, my cousin Jay says, in this instance, he is. He came for work, not for her, and expected for her to clear her schedule because of him. For him, compensation, period. Ah, now we have someone that's on the other side. Hey, Cassandra, hey, Taze. Now we have someone on the other side saying that he's wrong because he came for work, not for her. I mean, he let her know that she was coming for business, you know, but hopefully that they can, you know, hang out or whatever. So he basically did come for both work and her. So I'm just saying and the thing, for those of you who just joining in, we are talking about who was wrong. Two people met on Tinder, went out on a date. Um, the bill for the date was $96. The man, the man paid $100 for the bill. 
He asked the woman to pay the tip. She up and left. Who do you think is wrong in that instance? Uh, Jaren replying to Jay. No, she didn't have to come. Of course, of course. Cassandra, she could have paid point blank period. That's too damn cheap, shaking my head. The bill was high as hell. She could have covered the tip. True, she could have. That is very true. She definitely could have covered the tip off of a bill that he paid for that was almost $100. Some people will barely spend 50 on a first date, let alone this man spend a whole hundred. Basically saying like, yeah, here it is up front. I'm trying to see what is going. And that's where it's going. Uh, okay, Deanna says, okay, they met on Tinder. That's basically a hookup app. She's l lucky to have even got a dinner out of that. <laughs> hey, best friend, how you doing? Yeah, I kind of figured you said lucky. I kind of figured you said lucky. Hey, best friend, how you doing? Um, if you're joining in, like I said, if you're just joining in, we're talking about who's wrong. There was a man and a woman. They met on Tinder. They met up in her city. They went out for dinner. The bill was $96. He paid for the bill. He asked if she could cover the tip. She up and left. Who was wrong, him or her? That is what we're talking about right now. And as of right now, it's more so leaning towards her being wrong because she's petty. It's just the first date. But she's being petty at the fact that the man should have paid for everything and she didn't feel like covering the tip or he should have covered the tip or whatever the case may be. In some instances, they saying that he's wrong because, like my cousin said, 